Hey everybody, it's Brad from the Big Family Homestead. And in this video, I gotta tell you what. Um, well, we're getting more pigs. Now hold on, I know, I can actually feel it, I can feel the, the people yelling and saying, no, no more animals, you've got enough, you've gotta get through winter, and I agree with you. However, here's the scoop. What's happening is a neighbor wants to borrow, rent, some barn space, in exchange, he's given us a pig. Uh, and we don't have to pretty much do anything. We're only really gonna be setting the, the, uh, the area up. He's providing the food, he's gonna be providing the care. The guy lives nearby, he just doesn't have a place to put him. So I would say that's a win, 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 win for everybody, and I like barter. So, well, we're gonna be putting together this pig pen today and a bunch of other stuff. As you always know, we're always busy. So there you have it, let's get cracking. So there are several places in the barn that actually have rain problems, they leak. Uh, but this right here next to the other pig pen is not one of them. So the plan is to get this area cleaned out get it braced up to make sure, because there's one of these braces that's kind of a little sketchy, makes me really nervous, uh, to be honest. And then put the, uh, the pen right here. And so we'll be in uh, Piggy Palace in no time. What do you guys think of the plan? Is it a winner? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Definitely not a pork roast dinner, that's for sure. Okay, so we're working along, things are coming along great. We start to pull in the big wire, the welded wire that's gonna be the actual framework of the, uh, the pen. And we're pulling and pulling, and the thing whips around, and well, take a look at what it did. Nailed me here, but not just here, but down here too. And I've got nasty bruises starting all in there. And for you wise guys out there who are gonna say, get in the sun, you need some vitamin D. Well, you're right. Okay, so far so good. Got our posts up, strengthening everything up. And we got the wire in, but we got to build a door in that back corner. So Don went to go check and see if he has some kind of a, a gate to get in and out. But this is going to be high and dry. The pigs are going to love it. And you guys are going to have new neighbors. Oink, oink, my good man. All right, so we got our gate area. Uh, well, where the, we'll be able to get in and out. Framed up. Uh, got a little bit of screwing to do here, a little bit of trimming, but then the gate, it's going to open inward so that if the pigs push on it, which they will, they will be pushing up against that frame, which will be really, really difficult for them to try to mess with it. So we're almost done. Okay, homeschool update, dateline, homeschool, day three. Yes. Crisis in, no, there's no crisis. No, no How's it going? Whatsoever. That's you. How's it <laughs> going? Talking to her. <laughs> uh, things are going good. Um, <clears throat> I actually had to create a new lesson plan worksheet because having four different lesson plan books was a real pain in the... Took us. Took us. So I created a new document. So still liking Rod and Staff? Still liking it. Yep. All righty. Yep. So what is this book, this sheet you had to make? I created a document that looks like this. Oh. And two kids on this side. Two kids on this side. So homeschool moms, if you want that document, email us mm -hmm. and we'll send it. it. Yep. And you can just, um, it, it took me maybe 10 minutes. Saves a lot of time though. Saves a lot of time and it's all in one place. Sweet. Yeah. Update complete. 
Okay, we're all done. Gates installed, everything's all tacked up, everything's ready to rock. I'm gonna get some uh, bedding out there, get a waterer and a feeder, and the piggies will be here on Sunday, so yeah. And as you can see back there, we got some lime put on the garden, getting it ready for spring. Cannot be too, too uh, prepared, I think. Uh, we just needed to change the pH of the, the ground a little bit, and hopefully the lime will do the trick, and we will have massive melons and terrific tomatoes and all that kind of fun jazz. Well, I gotta wait a while, but we'll get started as soon as we can. And there were a few of you guys who were asking for more chicken video. So I figured I'd come on in here and give you an update on the lovely ladies. They are getting big. They are not yet of laying size, but doggone it, I'm thinking only in a couple more weeks we're gonna start getting little tiny eggs because uh, they're, they're doing good. The roosters, they're not super protective yet, which is good. Uh, we've been holding them a lot, but I'm sure they'll do their job. As you can see, their chicken yard is great. They're not really tearing it up. I thought that they would have, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not happy that they're not tearing. I'm not happy, I'll back up. I am happy they're not tearing it up. I just am um, surprised that they hadn't yet because they, they usually did. But um, everybody's doing good. Hello, ladies. How are you today? You're looking very lovely, I must say. You're definitely a fall. And so, chickens, rocking it. Now I got a question for you guys on Eeyore here. Um, I think that Eeyore was not necessarily treated the greatest in the place that uh, she was before. And we really, she's not mean or anything like that. She doesn't bite us. She doesn't, um, she's not aggressive or anything like that but she kind of doesn't want us to pet her yet and any of all that kind of stuff, even though we've been giving her apples. And so I was just kind of looking for some suggestions on how to get her to warm up. And maybe, maybe I'm just trying to be too uh, anxious. Maybe she just is gonna take time. I don't know, but she's nice, uh, just not overly affectionate yet. And we, this is really funny, you gotta see. Annie, I was standing here telling you about Eeyore and the cat jumped up onto my shoulder from back there. Yeah, and now it's licking me in the face. What a nice little kitty. All right, Claire, so day two with the egg project. Yep. You're supposed to uh, drop this sucker from seven feet and it's supposed to not break. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I'm, I'm having a little bit of mental trouble thinking that, that, that I mean, is that, a, is that a doll that you have there? What do you have no, there? No, it's a cup. And in this said cup, in the aforementioned cup, <laughs> I have two little popsicle sticks with the egg sitting on it wrapped in some paper. And then I have some straws to kind okay. of slow it down. Because the key is slowing it down. Slowing it down. Slowing it down. You want to slow it down because if you slow the object down, it's not going to, it's going to be safer for the egg. And then I have a little balloon. So the balloon is like completely decorative? No, it's for the parachute, even though it's not going to work very well. Uh, well, you know what? I believe you'll get it. This one might not be the one, but we'll see. Let's go see, okay? All right, Claire. I'm I'm going to believe in faith that your weird doll-looking thing will save that egg, and it's going to be awesome. And on your mark, get set, go. I think it's good. I think it's great. You think it worked? And it's safe! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. How was your day, honey? I'm pretty tired. I tore my pants. Cut my leg. <laughs> no, it's, it's all right. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I will pull through for, for your sake. What? For your sake. For my sake. I will pull through. Don't worry. Your breadwinner is still gonna be okay. I'm so glad. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Wait a sec. What you saw on the video earlier of uh, us testing the device for the egg drop, um, since we film, 
you know, throughout the day, and then usually I edit the next day, and you see what happened the day before. Uh, Claire just came home from school, and tell us what happened with your egg drop. It was very sad. It didn't work. Basically what happened, I was in one of the classes, and I was making it up before lunch, and then we got called to the common room, because we had to take a test, and it took forever. Do they need to know? And then <laughs> I went back to the science room, and it was an unplanned test, if I may add. Well, they and don't then, want you to study for it. Then I go to lunch, then I went back to science. Because they don't want you to succeed. And the tape came off. It didn't work. <clears throat> yeah, she Chris, broke Chris Platt. her chicken embryo. It was a very sad time. I cried three times. Completely useless. We'll do a better job next time. I wept. No, you did not. I mean me. We. It was her project. Yeah. But he was helping. I told yeah. my teacher my So that means I failed, too. We can be failures together. Sweet. You still got an A. Yeah, I got an A because oh I can gosh. write summaries like a boss. She... <laughs> Hashtag homeschool. Hashtag homeschool. And you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to being tired. I'm going to finish schoolwork still. So still. You guys do something that's not dangerous and amazing. <laughs>